Happy Easter, everybody. This is your Black Knight. And in what is becoming kind of a tradition here for religious holidays, I'm going to be driving around doing some races in cars that seem to fit the theme. In this case, pastel or brightly colored cars. Because it's a little bit difficult to do, do like an Easter special in GTN line when there's so little Christianity baked into the game. I mean, or most games, really. You know, here's the, here's the church. There's no way to get into the church. It's just there. It's probably because it's a major landmark in LA. It has to be there. But you know, I almost I almost fear what would happen if you could go in and actually see preachers that they put in from the game. Because I mean, theoretically, you could do that. They did that with GTA 4 with comedians. I mean, I didn't know. I I actually had never seen Cat Williams or really Ricky Gervais's, you know, performances. You know, on stage, you know, as far as stand-up before I actually saw them in GTA 4. I'm like, wow, that, that was impressive. The, um, the trick of the matter, you could do that with real-life preachers, but would they get real preachers? I mean, really preaching the gospel, or would they get some kind of farcical, farcical thing there, you know, that's just making fun of the whole thing? You can see there's 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 comedy throughout the game, and they they may be applying it in the wrong way if they if they're to actually invest in that. So I don't know if I want to root for that or not. It'd be nice if they took it seriously and, and were respectful to the whole thing. But this is a game that's not respectful to much of anything. So we're not gonna. I mean, it's it's even handed. It's it's not respectful to anything. So yeah. So anyway, the way I'm going to deal with it, and it's, it's why, the way I'm starting to deal with this. I did this for St. Patrick's Day. As I'm recording this, uh, that hasn't uh, hit the uh, hit the streets yet, so it's not up yet. So I don't know if that's been wildly successful or not. So this, we'll have to see if we continue doing this down the road. But for right now, I'm just I've broken out the Easter egg special here, the my custom dunk. And I'm gonna try and do something with this. I I don't have any confidence that I'll get in a race. Because I know from the St. Patrick's Day special, I, mean, I spent two and a half hours trying to find anyone to drive a muscle car race, and you just couldn't get it to happen. I mean, no one's doing dual. I, I don't know why. But we'll give it a shot. There are a couple things we can do with this, though. One of the things we can do with this is try to go find a stunt jump, an, un, an unfinished stunt jump. Because if I get one more stunt jump, I can unlock Lime Green, which... That's that's a good Easter egg color. You gotta like lime green Easter eggs. It's it's a better St. Patrick's Day color, but I mean it's uh, you know we can still still work with it. I should point out something here is that as I'm voicing this over, uh, I did do a voiceover. You know I did I was talking when I recorded this, but one of the little tips for you here if you're using OBS, if you unplug your mic and then plug your mic back in. It thinks that your mic's gone forever and that this is a completely different mic that you might want to use in a different way. So I had no microphone at all while I was recording uh, recording this. And so now I have to voice the whole thing over again. So maybe different things. It, it, almost, it has to be different things. I don't remember all the things I said. I remember the general points that I was trying to make. But, you know, this is just uh, just what we have here. Okay, at this point, I think I was driving off to find a stunt jump, and then I noticed, hey, it's another church. We could stop by another church and maybe have some Eastery times. You know, Hill Valley Church, Los Santos. Everybody welcome, and that's a good... And I read the sign, yeah. It's... Donation is at the heart of godliness with a missing E. Car, permit... Car permits must be shown. Now, I don't know. Is that something that they actually have there? Or are they really re requiring car permits? I thought I could sneak out this door and you can't. It's just a little bit too narrow. It's hard to go through the narrow gate. That's the whole... Um, yeah, so it's welcoming yet not welcoming. And, you know, it gives you that impression that, you know, they're just in it for your envelopes. And, ah, again, that, I get the attitude that I would kind of be worried about. From GTA. And I came up here thinking, hey, you know, parking lots are great for having a stunt jump sort of thing. There must be some kind of stunt jump mechanic. And I wasn't sure. Maybe these steps. 
they launch you off the thing if you were to crash through there. Well, let's see if we can get a stunt jump. That would be our goal. It will be stunt jump time again. Let's get a little... This isn't the fastest car in the world. So it's not the best choice. It's not... Not speedy for the game standard. And here it was, an actual stunt jump, and boy, it was just did not go well. Now, there's not as much enthusiasm uh, as in my original voiceover because, you know, now, of course, I know it's there, but I mean, at the time, I was just like, hey, it's a stunt jump! We found one! It's what we haven't done before! Okay, so now we're, we're close. If we just do this, we can just get this car over the uh, over the embankment there. But I'm still not certain what constitutes a successful stunt jump. Do you have to clear a certain distance? Do you have to land just perfectly? Is it is it not doing what I'm doing here? Because that's not successful, any of it. And this old Buick's looking a little rough at this point. Let's see. Let's hit it. Let's see what we can do. We have to handle that little jog right then left. That's the uh, that's the trick. Right, left, off the jetty. Hey! And I I thought I landed that on all four wheels, even though it went a little bit crooked through the air. I don't know again why this car wouldn't pass it. I think I tried it one more time with the with the old Easter special here. I remember commenting that I didn't want to run anybody over. That was a thing. And we launch it again. Not enough speed, but it is straight. Hits the tree. All right. As I recall, that was the the deal breaker there. I'm like, all right, this car is not going to do this. It's not going to make it. We need another vehicle. And another vehicle was forthcoming. Now this looks like we're taking another run at it. We're taking another stab. Okay. That's more times than I remember doing, but... That was not a good launch. Ugh. We'll see. Was this where I gave up? I think I was thinking, I think I was thinking, that maybe you have to get to the road surface, which, if you're doing that much speed, you're going to go flying into the, the wall anyway, so it's going to be unsuccessful after successful. Then I got lost going back and gave up on that. Oh, here we are. So that was the point where I gave up on the car. And I called in my Shotaro, which has been repainted, redecoed, to be more appropriate for the Easter season. Yes, it's got the same chocolate and pink. Salmon pink and chocolate. So it matches my hat and my pajamas. And I shouldn't need I shouldn't need that much of a run up. It's got more precision. And by the way, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't necessarily like to crash through those things. All right, here we're gonna try again. We're gonna try this a little bit. Aim for the gap, balance it. I don't know why that failed. Not a clue. And you know, it's very hard to correct what you're doing when you don't know what you're doing wrong. It's, it's just a thing. But we're going to try and unleash all this chocolate Easter bunny power here. Come on. Chocolate Easter bunny power. I don't think I could have done it better than that. I glided it this time. Now, I want you to explain to me what I did differently. Is it a matter of distance? Because I landed it in the dirt. 
I, I don't know. But anyway, it was at that point we teleported to apply our lime green. Because I've been waiting a long time for this. Go to metallic. It used to be on the bottom because it was locked. That scared me for a moment, but then I figured, ah, but if we go up. The gold would work, work nice too, I think, on that, but. There. So green. So green. Just look at it. It's so green. Of course, we still have to play with, you know, pearlescence and it's pearlescent sort of thing. Like lime green on lime green, that makes sense. And it makes the, the top a little more lime green. But I think we went up for do yellow, yes. Because this is the kind of car that Mountain Dew would, would endorse. Gives that little bit of pop on top of the lime. Lime Mountain Dew, kind of. Well, Mountain Dew isn't really... Mountain Dew is Mountain Dew flavored. I mean, I know it's a, it's a citrusy kind of... Not quite grapefruit, not quite... It's 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 dew. It's what it is. I haven't had a Mountain Dew since I was in my 30s. Silly arrhythmia. I was drinking a lot of Mountain Dew at the time, which may have given me the arrhythmia. But at any rate, the... Uh, probably... It, 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 it's more of a genetic thing, but definitely you don't want to drink a lot of caffeine on top of uh, having an arrhythmia. So we, we went for the metallic secondary... Had different options. Could have made it just matching. But I thought, what can we do here? Just to make it pop. Race, no, 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 no. There's, there's lime green on lime green. And it works, but does it work as well as it could? So you match out the secondary with the with the pearlescent, and now, now it all ties together. I, I think that's the way to go with it. Hit it. There we go. And this car, it's it's already, you know, maxed to the max. I think I double checked that somewhere along the line. Don't sell it. We'll take it out for a drive. And I'm happy that this happened at night, because I immediately noticed it has no lights. I mean, it has headlights. It has basic headlights. But we're here at the arena. We can do so much better than that. So much, so much better. Don't worry, guys. The racing will begin in a little bit. But this is this is an historic moment. Me finally getting my drift tampa fully worked up. I'm leaving the tire stock, because they're kind of unique with that slick kind of look to it. Lime green lights. Yay. Lime. Lime. Really, the lime actually would go much better with a tequila-based car, but we'll go with the Ragaram. It's, it's, I like that, that livery. It's very elaborate. I might try to do some kind of glitch with it with the... Uh, the app where you can add a color to the stock tires. I have to figure out how to do that again. If they'll still let you do that. And then we can make them lime. Make the whole thing lime. I wanted to think of it. I wonder. Let me grab my phone. Let's do this well together while we're here. And you won't be able to see me doing it, but... Do I even have that app loaded? You need I'm... something, huh? One of your rides? Let me know. Alright, then we're leaving that there. And I think we're pulling back in the faction custom dock just to have something going on there. It's on the way. Did I reinstall when I swapped out this phone? It's been a while. Shows you how often I use that app. Huh. 
Well, I guess I better get the app loaded. Okay, well, we're not changing the color of the tires today. That's not a thing. It won't be in this video anyway, but... Snacking up so that I can get rid of some of the wounds from all the, the, the driving around. Now it's time to endeavor ourselves to get to a race. Any race. Yeah, and if you can take a picture, it's it's worth taking a picture. It's a bop along in my Easter special. First race, we got to trench four. And I couldn't help but notice that the host is named Purgatory on a video about Easter. So, yeah, Purgatory. Definitely not the goal, but I mean, it's, it, it, if you get to Purgatory, at least you know you're not in hell. So it's not going to be, you know, being in the holding pattern is not optimal, but at least it's a, that's a thing, right? So we're going to have to try to beat Purgatory here. That's going to be the goal. There's only three of us. Only a mere three. All right, time for the car selection. And we need something, something Easter eggy. Even though I won't see a lot of it. Kind of, kind of, that would almost work. That that, uh, that would work. That would have worked. I wanted to go hardcore. I had something in mind. And here we have it. My penumbra. But based on a car that I actually saw on vacation one time, parked in the, the parking lot outside the hotel. And there's Purgatory. The Panamera is not a car you take out very often. It's not quick. This isn't the faster Penumbra of Project Homecoming, no. On the other hand, it's not that much of a, uh, a handicap this time around because we don't drive it very far. That other car is gone. Look how far ahead Purgatory's gone. I, I don't think Purgatory had that fast a car. I mean, that was... That was impressive. And we boop here into... Now, what's interesting here from a technical standpoint is that the plane, I believe, you know, it, it transformed with the color of my custom, uh, what do you call it, a custom Rocket Voltic as opposed to my custom Penumbra. I would have thought it would match whatever the selection is, but it must be the last custom you've used transfers over. I thought I had a Nakoda on this account. Maybe, maybe that's on, on Rusty Jack's. Or maybe that's just my Nakoda in whatever paint job it actually is. And uh, I don't even know if I upgraded it. So this could be like a, a custom stock Nakoda as we swoop down here and try to get our way out of third. And Blazer Aqua. Blazer Aqua, of course, is painted for them to match the one that Jeremy Clarkson used in the Grand Tour. Oh, hello, Bumpy. Maybe he just lost it in the turn a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. Can we pull ahead because we're doing a little bit more of a wheelie. It's lean back on the water, lean forward on the road. That's that's how this works. You're going to get maximum speed. Lean back in the penumbra. It must have been somewhere around there. The other guy, did the other guy drop out? I don't know. As I'm voicing this over, the bottom of the map is obscured by my menu bar. You, you won't be seeing that, but...
Penumbra is not the fastest, but it does have an eggy look to it. The Voltic's kind of a curvy car, too. I mean, that's got to count for something. And it is in my, my beta fish paint job, so that's pretty... More of a Tetra Neon, really. Neon Tetra paint job. By the way, here's a, a quick trivia. Got a question for you. Neon Tetra, my favorite fish. It's true. Don't have one of them in the house, but no, that's... We've got at least one beta... couple red ears, slider turtles, some degree of frogs, I'm not sure what, and at least one bearded dragon that I'm aware of. But no neons. At some point, when I have lots of spare time, maybe I'll take that on and get my own tank going and just keep some neons going. But we're not we're not there yet. So Purgatory's finished way out ahead of everybody. I can't see. I shouldn't be that far away. I hit I hit the wrong button there. I bumped. I I, I started the wheels too early. Had to reset. Doesn't matter. I mean, I've guaranteed second. It's just a matter of do I not DNF. And I'm going to DNF. That caused the DNF. And that's why I knew for certain that the other guy had quit. I guess he couldn't live with being beaten by a penumbra. So here we got Purgatory. Do, 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 do. And the hope is, of course, that the next race goes better. That's what we're hoping for. Decades of fun. Like decades of fun, only decades. You get the pun? Ha ha ha. Decades, I get it. And here I would at least be able to use my eastery show taro so that's a thing eastery show taro is a definitely a thing we can eastery show taro all right so purgatory is in the mix but not calling the shots and because we have philippe he has customs turned off so i can drive a show taro but i'm gonna have to pick a color on the fly here and it's not gonna be fully upgraded it has to be the Shotaro, though, with all the lights, the color, and slap like now. Start. Is he recording his own YouTube video? Slap like now. That's that's why I should be telling you all. Slap that like button now as you're as you're watching this video. You know you like it. You know you know you just love it. You're. You're here. It's Easter. Slap like. like. My color selection is still from St. Patrick's Day, so we have to find something else. And let's see. I will race yellow should work. And then what about others? What other kind of colors? We could go hot pink. There isn't a salmon pink kind of option. It's only the hot pink, which clashes a little bit. Thought about crew. Crew would work. Crew baby blue and... But somehow I just wanted to do the, the shining yellow, race yellow there, just to... There's Philippe. Purgatory is, you know, really hitting it hard, so... But this guy is Rona ready, so, you know, so it's the guy next to him. And I'm at the back, the very back of the pack. Everyone's in the same bike. So 
So I think to myself, everyone's in the same bike, and I get the good. If I get a good boost, if I get good slip. Maybe we can make something happen here. Maybe. Then I glided to try to get a little bit ahead. That did not go well. If it only glided a little bit better. So now I'm really, really, really last. But I don't give up. I'm not like that other guy who says, oh, I'm last. I'm going to... He, he even had... He was guaranteed a podium for showing up. So I don't know. We're going to zip out here. What can we make of this? We've given ourselves a, a good five-second, six-second penalty there. Just for being overly aggressive with the glide. This was a bit of a panic because even without the glide, we were going over everything. I mustn't have been the only one who had problems there because suddenly I made. Oh, somebody left. Someone... Disconnected. Maybe people are just disconnecting. Maybe that other guy didn't mean to disconnect. All right. We blaze the blazer aqua out here. We're just gonna try and make some spots. I think I, I bumped him a little bit there, and it sent me off. I don't think it sent him off nearly as badly. So again, another another delay, another mistake. Another choke. But not a good enough choke to impress them with the Choking Hazard podcast. So we're just going to move on. We're just going to... Just going to keep racing here. Let me zip along. I don't know if slip is a really a powerful thing here, but maybe we got a little bit of it. The wheelie is a powerful thing. I definitely haven't pulled back trying to get a clean front edge on this. But I learned from my last race, and I was careful and judicious with the over-the-top overtake as I changed to the wheels, turn into an airplane, and close on the pack. Now, I'm in sixth at this point, and I, I can see everybody. I mean, everybody's right there. I'm almost back to the main group. And then, there's Bumpy McBumpmeister. See, he's trying to muscle. Was he, was he trying to bump me, or is he just not in control of his plane? I don't know. If you don't do a lot of jet work, then, you know, this can be tricky. I'm trying to stay out of his way, take tighter lines. Got a little bit of a slip there. A little too close for slip there. I'm, I'm not too close not to fly into him, but we're going to try to avoid that. Excuse me. Give me a little room here. Trying to close distance on these guys who are taking the turns a little bit wider. Okay, he looped kind of out. Had some difficulty. Pulled it back in. With that little bit of inefficiency of movement. Like I, I took overtook him and then two others overtook me and now we're all together in trucks. And this is this is an interesting pack right here. He's driving on the wrong side of history there, so. Oop. All right, well, that's one way to get fifth. That's one way to lose fifth. Come on. Grab a gear. Come on, let's do this. And here, hence the dockades of fun as we zip around the docks. Around the loop-de-loop. -loop. I missed both the boosts there. But based on that other guy coming right way off the side, maybe that was best? Back to the bike. At this point, I have no idea why I'm in third. Did everyone disconnect? Purgatory wins again. At this point, third's the best I can hope for. 
I don't see anybody else. So the entire rest of the field disconnect. Were there issues? No, there, there, there's some people there. Some people are still racing. There's uh, Feeling Cold left, but I think Feeling Cold comes back. So that might have been an accidental disconnect. But I got a podium out of it somehow. I'm not sure how. And I leveled up. Level up. Purgatory, purgatory, purgatory. I'm, I appreciate the fact that she's resting for Easter as well. So the only person who disconnected was feeling cold, and that was after the fact. I don't know what happened to everybody else. Did they all crash? Did they take each other out? I just... I don't know. As I recall, I didn't even get a vote on this. Like, everybody else picked one, and, like, I didn't even... It was like, alright, that's enough votes. We have a definitive winner. We're putting you somewhere. Canal Crusher. Okay. This is another one where if the customs were turned on, I'd have some advantages because I do have the uh, my own Deluxo, my own Blazer Aqua, and my own Thruster. But it was not to be. It's Felipe. Wants well, nothing to do with your customs. Purgatory is a bot. Oh, things go... They go unfortunate here. I don't know, is that a thing? Can you actually get a bot to do your driving for you so you drive perfectly or something like that and just make money? I I don't think so. I've never heard of that. Purgatory response, okay, whatever. You know, that's... Probably took it as a compliment. No, I guess not. No, now it gets unpleasant. Guys, it's Easter. Come on. Stop swearing at each other. See, there's so little Christianity baked into the game. It's just... <sighs> Can we just load? Can we just load this game already? Make this happen. Let us race. Let us make our statements with wheels. And floaty things. And jet packs. And... Let's just go. All right. The Hakachu Dragon, I remember thinking, might be a good choice, but I'm going to go with that blazing yellow Shotaro. Just for the sheer easteriness of it. Pondered putting a bet on Purgatory, but I thought, oh, is there enough time? I think I gave her more screen time because, again, she's wearing the proper Eastery outfit. A lot of Easter here. A lot of Easter. A lot of pink bikes. A lot of... It's like everybody, you know, got the memo, you know? Pink and yellow bikes and bright colors. And violent motorcycle racing. Bang! Jammed me right into the wall. I do have the boost to help me catch up, but not... Yeah, they do, too. Ah, every race I have some kind of setback that I have to overcome. But isn't that life, really? There's just setbacks you have to overcome. At this point, my familiarity with the Deluxo, my extreme familiarity with the Deluxo, Takes hold here, and I don't think you're allowed to transform them. Like I can't, I can't use the uh, the transform sequence to like suddenly drop uh, altitude or anything like that. So you know, there's certain maneuvers that I often do that you can't do in a race. But hey, 
We're in a Deluxo. We're all the way back up to fourth already. The Deluxo isn't, you're, we're not dealing with high speeds here, but you still have to try and think, you know, optimize your lines. Even though it's kind of a floaty thing. Everyone comes back together here for the main straight. Yeah, dive for a boost. And another boost. He went for that last boost and then they all got hung up. You can't be too boost addicted. Purgatory's back in first. Although we really have no way of knowing, I guess we can refer to Purgatory as her because that's what she's presenting. So that's... Get down to the water. Get those wings in. You pick up some speed. Purgatory's doing the same thing. And then... Poof into a boat. Or a boat-ish kind of thing. I always get hung up in here. All in, every race, something happens. I get a little caught there. That allows Felipe to catch me. All right, but I can do the little slip, get past Felipe. Get hung out on the outside, and that wasn't really Felipe's fault. That was mine. He had the line. I tried to go around, and then there was a dock. I think that pretty much cost me my race, really. That was the point where I really could have been competing for first and then threw that away. But, you know, we're going to zip around. We're going to see what we can make of it. And screwed that up. Like, why is that not clicking? I had to be within inches of that, and it just didn't take. And now... held back suddenly find myself in third again and I'm not really sure how but thrusters are you know even I'm an experienced thruster pilot I think and I missed that one checkpoint a little bit so so purgatory and Felipe take it the best I can do is what I got I got third can I pull down another podium that's the question Everybody else is way out there because they're struggling with the choice of vehicles. That's a highly technical circuit, and if you're not invested in those things, if you don't have a Deluxo and a Thruster and a, to some extent, a Blazer Aqua, you are going to be at a little bit of a disadvantage. See, this is... It's, it's very difficult to learn how to use the Thruster in a race. It's, it's not 100% intuitive. You tend to overcorrect a lot. That's just a thing. So we got third. Third's good. Third, third's good enough. We'll, we'll get through. Make a little bit of money. It is interesting that, you know, we're not seeing, like, a full boat of people on this. It's, we're getting some numbers. But I, I don't think transform races are as popular as stunt races in general. You know, it, it does it does lend itself to, you know, where you do a lot better if you have the customs. And if you don't have the customs, and customs are turned off, you're still not practiced with them and, they're, you know, those particular things. You know, you're not, if you're not good with a Deluxo, if you're not good with a, uh, a thruster in particular, makes things harder. Makes things just that little bit harder. Plummet 3. Now, as I recall, I was all excited to do Plummet 3. And then things went awry. This where they go awry. Or even a pub wrinkle. I think we're very close to things going awry here. We're waiting, and then... That blows up. We don't get to do this race. 
I get kicked back to the street because something happens in the game structure itself. And this is where my my voiceover from the future where I'm not live voicing it ends. Because at this point I ended this session, came back later after I discovered that the, the, the mic wasn't working. Fixed the mic. And from here on out, you've got my live at the moment. Well, not live. You're watching this after everything anyway. But you're, when the video is happening, that's what I was saying is what I'm trying to, uh, to say here. Whereas what I'm saying now is after the fact, watching the video as you would be watching the video. And that's going to... Uh, that's going to... Here we go. Blah! And there you have it, folks. So now I'm going to turn over the mic to myself from yesterday. And once again, Happy Easter. I, I say it later, but Happy Easter. Looks like you're done here. I will fiddle the accounts and send you the money. Just another day in the life of nightclub maven Tony Prince. All right, there's one more thing I forgot about this. This is the thing. I'm still voicing it over after the fact. Uh, I ended up here after a mission. I thought, yeah, I wonder if there's anything in here, like one of those hidden items. And there was one. So hey, here we are up at the up at the logging camp. And that's where you can get an action figure. As you can see, I've not been big on the action figures for the most part. It's not been a thing. Okay, trench three. I had like about a little less than a half an hour to go here to where I need to take off alarms set and that kind of thing. So, stealing a little bit of time here, and we're going to try, try, I tell you, to uh, do some non transform races and see what kind of funky sort of things we can do here. Okay, we need to get to our Easter special it's motorcycle. Get back in. Easter special free mode. Ready to play. Who are we racing against? Racers, 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 racers. This looks like it's Luigi gone evil. 1-1 one, one lost fit. Okay, so we get some new racers. New racer. A new racer. This. Yeah, I, I don't know. We're going to see. I wonder if these guys have done Trench 3 before. They have some races in their belt. Okay, first, what's he wheeling? Really I thought like he was wheeling a Shotaro, which is impressive. There's some bumpy McBumpmeister stuff going on here. Well, some slip. The slipstream and catch up's going to make it kind of a, a little bit less uh, pure skill here. There's going to be a certain amount of luck. You can do that if you want, but I mean, you know. If you're pushing me into a wall, and then there's that whole force and equal opposite forces kind of thing and I know how to glide. The glide should really put me a little bit out of head here. This is a point to point I think. My off-road traction lost stuff there. Boost me. Boost me. Now if they keep fighting amongst themselves, if they keep if Bumpy McBumpmeister can work for me here. Another, get another big glide. And keep ramming the people behind. Good glide. Come on, fly, baby, fly. Yeah, there's probably a way around that, but I don't want to ping myself off the wall.
I've tried to get around those a number of times and bad things have happened, so... Another glide, baby glide, but keep it under control. Keep a move on. Okay, we're just going to drop this in right here because I don't want to overshoot the target. Looks like we've got a win. we got a win looking backwards. There was a lot of bumping and banging on that, so I don't feel too bad. This person at least knows to wheel it. But not as much as you gotta keep that wheelie going. I think I think they'll make it. I think you're gonna make it. Yay! You finished first. It's a win for me on Easter. Easter special. Easter, Easter. Clicky clack. Where's my bike? I mean, it's got the whole ensemble going. Yeah, one's not too far behind. The ruffian. I, w I can't even picture a ruffian. Um, where are we going? Green Machine's a doable race. Chiliad, Chiliad's good but quick. I mean, Chiliad, I race a lot of Chiliad, but I, I will say this. In, in an inexperienced crowd, those first couple turns are going to be disastrous. Now, what am I going to pick? Because don't forget, we're in an Easter boat here. Technically speaking, my Krieger is kind of a, a, an orange, so we can, uh, it's an orange car. That counts. That's in the, the imagery of... Yeah, I think we're going to run with that. This is a big group. And it's not double money. There's, there's double money on transform races, but some people just want to race. And that's a good thing. I'm thinking I'll get three of these races in, maybe four. And maybe that's enough. I mean, that's enough to call this Eastery enough. Because once again, did we just go... Did they turn off? Let's see, what looks more Eastery? That doesn't look quite Eastery. You know what? I'm going with a yellow Tempesta. That's pretty Easter eggy. I don't race the Tempesta very often, but I feel like I want something that handles. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll work around the lower top speed. Ah, Neuro Custom is a good choice. All these people out there, they don't know the new rules about starting. You only get the boost if you tap it right on the spot. See, I got the hand. Uh, just, I had the handling, everybody on the inside didn't. But I'll be on the inside this time. Whoa! This is just, I was worried about being sloppy and chilly on it. That would have been an outright disaster, I can tell you right now. Let's see if this Tempesta likes the bumps. That's going to be the question. We got to get down and over. Whoops. That was just a mess. Ah. Everybody's in each other's way here. Ah! Oh my goodness! Go!
Gotta go through backwards. It's the only option. Jay, turn it. Ugh. All right, well, that was at least visually interesting. We're beat to hell here. The car looks less eastery. Oh, we're always looking for the comeback. My rear suspension looks a little compromised. I don't know if this is one of the cars that benefits from stancing, because I think I has it. I don't think it's benefiting from it. How well does it jump in this configuration? Well enough. Stock and broken. Okay. Wow's in your miss. So the timing on that was quite fortuitous on my part. Quite fortuitous. Fortuitous. Now here's the ones where, you know, the devastate should be great and it barely makes it. So it's one of those so I don't have any weird physics going on with the contesta, that's good. We're back up to ninth. Don't pay attention to the eighth. I don't think. Oh, that barely made that. We get two laps out of this, or just a one lap shoot out. Whoa. Okay, that barely worked out. That was just airborne going into that. Yes, it's not over yet. So seventh. Major wreck, and then up to the seventh. Pulling someone through the turn. Crisscross. Still pulling someone. Pull them up into the tubes. Bitter. That's okay. You've got a better top speed than I do, and I'll take your slip. Whoa! All right, that didn't go well. He was just suddenly there. I got nothing I could do about it. Now, if I can get back up into his slip, we're racing for top five here. I think top five might be the best I could do. I think six might be the best. I could do. But I certainly don't have the top end to reel in a Nero Custom, but I might have the handle to do it up here. It wasn't quite flat out through there, but I definitely, I definitely reeled them in some. Straighten these curves out a little bit. Nice pulling away again on these. There's, I can have nothing to offer them in this section through here. <sighs> yeah, that's fine. That's from people going through the loop, tricking out the uh, distances. We're solidly in sixth. I don't think, yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to pull it in enough. Oh, wait a minute. Top five's always possible. Hey, can we hold it through here? He's going to be able to reel us in, I think. This car was so beat up. And that massive multi-car accident. Someone had an issue, but he's not on the face. The back marker. 
Oh dear, that was that barely made it. That was very, very reminiscent of uh, the Divest 8. Come on. We got a clear road ahead at the bare minimum. Did that better. We get to take this flat out down the tube. We're lined up perfectly. Yeah, I'm not, we're closing on fourth, but it's not going to be enough. Fifth. All right, I'll take it. After that massive wreck, where I admittedly uh, had some contact with some of the people who may have spun them, but not intentionally, um, that went well. Not making friends, but... This looks like an interesting, uh... Right here, you got two cars coming up on it quickly. Can he overhaul? I don't think so. Ah, they're both DNF. You finished fifth with a 628. In an Eastery car. I think we'll have to go pink next round. Yes, yes, yes. It's a good car, but, you know, it's not very Eastery. It's very harder edges. 256. I was only eight tenths or so off of the best lap, so I feel I feel pretty good about that. Considering I lost all my time on the first lap, okay. I think we'll close this out with Chiliad. Chiliad's another quick race, and I am running out of time, so I have to go back and do real life things. And I think this will be long enough. I think I always underestimate how much material I have, so. I think we have enough. I think we're good. Um, let's see. Are we getting customs? We are getting customs. What do we want to pick? We'll just look for the most eastery thing we have here. And I don't I don't think it will be necessarily the Krieger, although it may be. I don't know what how many eastery things. Ooh, there is the custom adder, and the custom adder is a new one. What's Eastery though? Oh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go with the uh, the adder. The adder is an egg. Here I am in my egg. I don't really have a lot of chances. You'll probably... Well, look at... That, that's not nice on Easter. When you watch CTA, you know what you're getting. Our only choice is, choice is to boost out ahead. But that, and it didn't work. I didn't get the boost. Must have been a little bit off on the... Alright, are they disciplined? Not discipline. I, got, I slowed down, get hit from behind, and I, I, I knew those first turns. Like I, I'm just gonna be a disaster. Yeah, bumpy McFrontmeister. Not realizing that the Adder is a very heavy car. And it's a very long way down. I can get back on. Ah, oh, we can't. Lost it all together going down there. Ha Adder's not got handle. Well, that's the guy who wrecked me. Yeah, I did, he went off the cliff and tried to go after me. So now we've got a moral obligation to catch up. I don't know that we'll be able to do it. Again, I could have taken my orange Krieger and just dominated, but we wanted to take an, a true egg. A true. Look at how eggy this is. How did I get up in the six? Someone must have jacked the jump. Oh, really? One, two, three. Everybody's just ahead. Somebody's had issues. They're screwed. Top five is always possible. And again, this is a very short course. I do not think I'm going to be able to do much here. 
before it's closing on that car ahead. Sliding off at the bottom, and I was on the brakes, but not early enough. This, um, this adder, I, I painted this up this way as a test uh, for another car. So it may not keep this paint job, but it certainly works for Easter. Oh yeah, we're getting, unless somebody makes a mistake, we're going to end up in fifth, because, although we have a good top speed on this, not enough course, too much distance. The only other thing I can do is I can try to do the short, now we're done. That's not the shortcut. How did we fall off that? All right, still, we hold fifth. Can we hold top five? That's the question. After this disastrous run. Yeah. Fifth is the best we can now do. Hey, see how Easter eggy a car it is. Oh, there's my alarm. The default stock alarm on the pixel. All right. Shoop. Someone said heck with it. I'm not even doing it. Was the coach? Was the coach? Is that the guy? You can make it, coach. I believe in you. Is that the guy who uh, went off the cliff? Maybe. Yeah. That's the guy who flipped us off in the. Isn't it? Did the random? All right. You know, I don't feel too bad there doing with an error. GG guys. Gotta go. And happy Easter, everybody. I hope you've had a wonderful time. And uh, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.